Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my October Ipsy bag, so let's dig in and see what's inside. So for those of you guys who follow along with my monthly Ipsy unbaggings, you guys probably saw that last month for September I did not have an Ipsy video. And that is because I skipped the month of September. There's something new that I saw that Ipsy came out with that you can skip a month. If you're not really feeling the bag or whatever, or you just want to have a little break, you can skip a month, not be charged, and then it'll just pick up the following month. So that's what I did. Um, I just wanted to have like a month free just to kind of use up some of the products that I've already had. Um, Ipsy sends a lot of makeup things that are sometimes similar and related. So I just kind of wanted to weed through some things, use up some things, and then move on. So I might skip a few months throughout the year now just to kind of give myself, you know, a month to catch up on the products that I have. I hate having products that just sit there and I don't use which I find I'm starting to have that a little bit with Ipsy, so I might take a few breaks every now and then just to kind of eliminate that problem. So first things first, here is the bag. I'm trying to get it to catch the light so you can see the detail on here. It's kind of got like a laced detail. It's not like lace feeling at all. It's just kind of printed on the bag, but it looks like lace. And then right over here, you guys can see that. It's got like a little bat, you know, for October, Halloween. It's really pretty kind of like very Victorian you know I'm trying to think of like the right words to describe this I don't know it's just really pretty I really like it I might have liked it better without the little bat on here just because then I could use it throughout the year but I'm sure I can always change that myself but it's really pretty I do like this bag and it's just like this on the back so the first thing that was outside the bag is this little card and it is from IT Cosmetics and it is the new Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. So it has like a little picture on here of what it's supposed to be like before and after. Really it just looks like Photoshop because it's like the same picture, you know? I don't really see a difference in the pictures besides it looks like it was Photoshopped. But there's that, so let's see what this is like. So it says on here that it makes your pores disappear. It is Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. So let's see. So it looks just like that. Nothing too fancy. It is a fairly decent size. You know, I should be able to get some uses out of that. And it just came in a little container like this. So that's what that looks like right there. So right here is just a little card that was inside. It says, my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. That is really cute. So the first thing that I pulled out of the bag is this MDM Flow, which I've never heard of before. It's like a, I think it's like a liquid lipstick or something. Um, it says it's in the color Retro. 6 milliliters or 0 0.21 fluid ounces made in England. I have never heard of that company before. I don't know if it's going to pick up. Yeah, there you go. I've never heard of that company before. Um, the packaging is kind of cute if I hold it the right way. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. So let's try it on. Alright, so right here is what the applicator looks like. Alright, so I just put this on my lips. It is a really pretty color. I definitely do like it. It is a matte liquid lipstick and it is starting to dry down. Right now it's still got a little bit of sticky feeling around like the corners of my mouth, but hopefully that will dry down as I continue on with this video. Next thing I have is from Neon and Company. This is a hair treatment oil. Next is from Essence. This is a satin touch blush. It is in the color 10 Satin Coral. Looks like that. So here is what that looks like. Really pretty. Again, it's a color that I would really wear. So I'm excited to try this out. And the last thing in my bag is from Nail Medic. This is Charcoal Infused Nail Polish. And it is in the color Lava. So right here is the polish. You can see the color of it. It's like a really, really light muted gray color. But it's super light almost on the whitish side of the spectrum, you know. It's not a dark gray by any means. It's not even like a medium gray. It's a really light color. So I'm not quite sure about this. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if it will be my color or not. I haven't had really good luck with nail polishes from Ipsy lately. The last few polishes that they sent me are just colors that I just, 
eh. they're either like they tend to send me either like really neon nail polishes which I'm just not into or they'll send me ones like this that are either like different shades of white almost you know like this one's like a grayish white and then before they sent me one that was like an ivory tannish white color it's like uh, you know I kind of like you guys can see how I have my nails right now and I have the pink and then I have like a an accent color here um it's like a gold shimmer I think I got the gold shimmer one from Ipsy yeah I did I think it's um trust fund kids Trust Fun Kids or Trust Fun Beauty? Trust Fun Beauty, that's what it is. Trust Fun Beauty, I think it's like Champagne Kiss or something like that. And then the pink is from, I don't remember, but yeah, it was just something I picked up cheap at the store. But these are like the colors that I like, you know, I like just the plain baby pink colors. You know, I don't like anything too white, and then I just have a little bit for accents. So that's kind of what I like on my nails. The white versions of things, eh. It looks good on some people. I think if you have darker skin tones, um, like a white or a white family nail polish will look good. But for me personally, white on my nails, it just it makes my hands look dead. And I'm not really all about that look. That is everything that is in my bag this month. I'm pretty happy with it. It wasn't the best bag that I've ever gotten, but also wasn't the worst so beggars can't be choosers so in the comments below let me know which item out of this ipsy bag would you be excited to try as always if you guys want to check out ipsy yourself it's ten dollars a month free shipping again that's just in the u.s i'm not sure about other countries but i'll have a link down below in the bottom bar if you want to sign up and join yourself all right guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time i will see you later bye